In this episode, we replace our non-functional fridge and microwave. So we just bought a fridge from Home Depot and now we're gonna try and remove the old one. It doesn't work um, and it looks very gross underneath. So this should be fun. trick. My key is in my backpack. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to actually open it. <laughs> okay, we are extreme low tide tonight. So this ramp is very treacherous. This boat over here is touching the bottom almost. We're so impatient. We really should be waiting until tomorrow, but we really want our fridge tonight.
There we go. Okay. I got it. Okay. The other fridge in the way. We're on. Yeah. Whew. for a regular 120 volt 10.1 cubic feet compact fridge with high energy efficiency. Since we will primarily be connected to shore power with this boat and only going on relatively short trips, we felt it was better to get a larger fridge rather than a mini fridge solution. And it can still easily be supported by our generator or solar power and inverter when we are out. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. <laughs> the doors came with the fridge on the wrong side, so I'm gonna change them to the other side right now. Opens like this. It on and it has a nice LED light. We have to wait four hours before we can put food in, so we'll go grocery shopping tonight and then hopefully get some food in it. Time to install the new microwave. Crowley's trying to help. just installed this and I dropped the microwave and it made this big dent. <sighs> we decided to go for a slightly smaller one with less wattage this time just so that way it would be easier to run it on our inverter. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our next episode where we clean up the rest of the kitchen and paint our cabinets. Thanks for watching!